Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Today we are back on the Halloween decor hunt and I am very excited. This is actually the first time I've really been out except when we went out in June. I have avoided going to stores. I have been kind of playing the long game this year and waiting until everything's really hit and I'm honestly more excited to decor hunt than I've been in a really long time because I feel like I'm now gonna get to just see everything all at once for the first time and that's very exciting for me. This is going to be a big video. We are gonna do kind of all the decor hunting in this one big episode so buckle in, grab a snack, grab yourself a coffee or a drink and settle in for a fun day or two of decor hunting together. Usually I try to kind of group types of stores together but I'm up in a particular area today where there's a hodgepodge of stores that I like to hit so we're not going to really go in any kind of pattern we're just going to hit wherever is next on the list and so we're starting with the store that opened the earliest today because I got up here and nobody was open yet why are stores not opening till 9 30 or 10 now I don't remember that ever being the case anyway we are starting the morning at Michael's which I'm very excited about I've seen a few things online there are a couple things I do really want from Michael's this year so let's head in and check out what they have Yay! Okay, first stop, Michael's here we come. Okay, so first things first, we have this neon, very bright Halloween line. I feel very vindicated. <laughs> Do you all remember when I said that neon was going to be a trend last year and then it didn't happen? I feel like this was, this was what I was thinking was going to be the thing. So this is kind of the overall color palette. This is not for me personally, but I think it's a really fun color palette. You guys know I'm a huge fan of anything that's like different for Halloween. That's not just orange and black. Um, I like the pops of the hot pink and green. I think that's really fun. They've got some cute pillows. They've got this like orange bat and the little like Sherpa ghosts that have been very popular the last couple of years. Just some different neon tabletop decor. Like that green bat lantern. That shade of green is really fun. Some cute different nutcrackers, which is really cute. <laughs> this one with all the different witch hats is cute. So this is the line I'm excited about this like burnt orange, black and brown color palette is something that I'm very into right now. A little cauldron. Oh, sweet little witch lady holding a bird. She's pretty. This wreath is pretty cool. Welcome friends and familiars, that's cute. Got some little tarot cards, the sun and the moon. Oh, I love this shade of like brown green. Lights up. Got a little planchette mirror. <laughs> it's all hocus and no pocus. Another cool kind of over a hutch sign, like the apothecary one. I think I got this sign from Kirkland's last year, but it's black. But I think it's a Salem apothecary or something. I don't know, it's that exact size and shape and font, but I like this natural wood. It's kind of cool. Honestly, that's a really nice skull sculpt. It's very realistic. I really love the color of that pillow. I don't love the design as much, but I wish I did. <laughs> and a little toad, a mortar and pestle, old Salem apothecary, some burbs, potions and spells. Got some 
raven skulls that are not not the most I guess they're bird skulls. Not the most um anatomically correct. Ugh, other things I really want to like, this Poe bust. I hate when people do this. Nevermore is not the title of a book. <laughs> and I don't like that he has like a head gash. I don't know. It's not my favorite Poe. I do, however, really, really like this little raven with his monocle. It's very handsome. This is one of the pieces I was looking for. Y'all know. <laughs> I've got to get this. Uh, $14.99. Also, I do have this mini version of the Headless Horseman. But it's also $30, which, like, <laughs> so is the big one. And I have the big one. But I also feel so, like... <laughs> inclined to buy anything Headless Horseman themed. Ah. These are very cool in theory. Mary Shelley, Poe, and Washington Irving really love these. However, they are $15 and this is just like paper <laughs> that's wrapped around a metal can. I could make these and I might because it's a great idea, but I'm not going to pay 15 bucks for paper. <laughs> Similar thing with these. I saw these online and I kind of wanted them um, because they're a direct rip of something from Grandin Road, but these are like cheap wooden balls with stickers on them for 10 bucks a pop. Or I guess, oh, seven bucks a pop, but still. I think the set of five from Grandin Road is like 30 bucks, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna order the real deal. I kind of like this amber glass skull just for like, life. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> this is cool. Okay. $29.99. Uh, I feel like that's a lot for a pillow, but I really, really like that it has the actual story on it. That's so cool. I'm glad people are getting the Sleepy Hollow hint, finally. <laughs> Why Nevermore is not something he wrote. That's a line from The Raven. Why would you not put another Poe book? Put titles of Poe books. This is blasphemy. Who did this? Poe on a toilet? <laughs> who, who did this? I want names. Okay, Nevermore sign and some Poe stuff. And a little Sleepy Hollow stand up sign. This is kind of a pretty happy Halloween sign. Never seen anything like that. It just looks very rich and it's heavy. I like that. Also got this line, which is purples and greens, more of a kind of eternal love gardeny. Some bride. I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> Ooh. I do like these bottles. These are really pretty. There's our our bride bust. Tabletop stuff. Oh, <laughs> he's cute. I like the bat stuff from this line. I like him. I like this little hanging from a tree guy. Home sweet haunted home. Well, this is the first time I've seen the Frank. So we've got Frank and Bride for $39.99 a piece. It's interesting. They have this exact bride at Home Goods for $20. So maybe grab her there and then come get you a Frank. <laughs> They've got a boneyard with a neon skeleton. It's cool. They've got this like animatronic witch bus. She's pretty creepy. Spooky. 
also got a haunted mirror. It looks like someone probably appears in it. So got like a potion bottle that lights up and swirls and an animated tree. We've got some lighted trees too. Oh, they've got these blow molds back. The old cat and look, I really like him. That might be something I end up treating myself to this year. Okay, so that was Michael's. Um, real mixed bag for me personally. Like I really liked some of the things and other things I thought were either kind of cheap looking or like were recycled versions of either other company stuff or other like things they've done in the past and they just lightly tweaked it. So it was kind of, you know, hit and miss as is the case with decor, but I'm really excited I got my Sleepy Hollow stuff. That was um, one of the few things I have on my list that I was like, if I see that, that is what I want. <laughs> Y'all know I'm trying to be a lot more conscious about what I bring into my home this year, and so uh, I kind of made a list in my head of things that like, if it's not one of these things, then I probably don't need it. But I'm really, really happy to have ended up with those things. So now we are at Home Goods, which has been what I have been most excited about doing Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. That's what I've been like waiting to do because it's always the most fun for me because you just don't know what you're going to find. It's a little bit different everywhere you go. It's, you know, just a mixed bag of styles and pieces. There is a specific pumpkin I am on the lookout for with Home Goods, and I think maybe a mug. Maybe that's at Marshalls. I don't know. But I'm excited. I've been waiting to go to Home Goods. Okay. <laughs> Let's head in. I'm so excited. Oh, it's going to be that time of year where I'm overwhelmed because there's so much stuff. Ooh, cute. Party stuff. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so first row. Um, this sticks out to me for $40. That's a big 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 cauldron. I don't love the skulls as the base but it's pretty cool. Got a cool haunted house. Lights up for 17. <laughs> These little like conga line pastel witches are cute. A little Ouija bat. Snow gloves. Those are cute with the jack-o'-lanterns. Actually, if you watched my Patreon vlog about a month, probably two or three weeks ago, I got something similar to this with gold cauldrons, but I do really like this with the kind of branch handle on the jack-o'-lantern faces. Though you couldn't really put anything in there except the candle without it falling out, so. <laughs> Listen, I love these weird little vintage dolls. Specifically the mice, like her, she's so cute. I truly don't know what's happening here, but I am going to have nightmares about it. <laughs> Got a bunch of like silver and gray skull decor. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a spider web pumpkin with a spider on it. It's me. I look great. Classic pretty witches. <laughs> He's kind of cute. It's very, like, over the garden wall a little bit for some reason. Oh, is this like candle? It is. It's like an LED candle. It's a small version of the crystal ball that I have. That's kind of fun. Some interesting kind of a vintage tree on top of a skull. Some different pumpkins. If anybody has been looking for a unicorn skull, I've got you covered. Lots of snake stuff this year. Definitely a trend. Trend alert. Snakes. Okay, I actually really like that. I know it's simple, but like the quickest way to get me to buy something is to make it gold and put a spider on it. <laughs> what is happening? I love him. This is so camp. <laughs> I'm just so beside myself. That is hilarious. In the middle here we've got some glassware. We've got like snakes and we've got the like skeleton hand 
stemware we always kind of see around this time. I really do love the champagne flutes if they weren't 10 bucks a pop. <laughs> oh, they've got some pretty like purple lowball glasses too. And then I have these, you've seen these before. Some of the bigger items, serving tray. Oh my goodness, that's a big boy. Work queen. What's happening? There's like a ball, like a cauldron full of disco balls. Are they just like, I don't, I don't understand what's happening. Okay, these napkin rings are really cute though. That might just be year round decor for me. $10. Oh, this is a cute design for a tablecloth. Fun fact about me, if Isaac Mizrahi designed it, I probably love it. I love his stuff. Remember when he used to be like the thing at Target in the like mid-aughts? <laughs> We've got some Johanna Parker napkins. Those are cute. Got a celestial tablecloth. Oh, this was a piece I was interested in. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's ceramic. I thought it would be plastic, especially for that price. That's beautiful. I really like the Jack illustration on these small plates. Those are cute. Got lots of Halloween dishware. Okay, listen, I don't need pumpkin Dutch ovens. <laughs> I love these, they're so beautiful. These are also very like fun little measuring cups. Here's where I tend to get in trouble, is the pillow and blanket section. <laughs> Got all kinds of pillows. Ooh, a purple ghost blanket, that's fun. Lots of rhinestones and glitter and sparkles, which is not my vibe, but if it's your vibe, get to home goods. <laughs> Ooh, I do just like this simple, gold spiderweb embroidered black pillow. Does that say 68? Oh my goodness. Absolutely not. Oh my god, I was on a different pillow. <laughs> 17. I literally was like, I have immaculate taste. <laughs> okay, I might have to get one of those. That's nice. More rhinestone spider earth. Cute ghosties. Listen y'all, I think people must have bought up all the Halloween blankets. This is all I'm seeing. And this is the only one that's like really Halloween-y. Like, this is just nice black throws. <laughs> I'm glad um, footage you didn't see, I don't think, as I bought my planchette blanket the first time I came here when they didn't really have anything out yet. And I'm really glad I did now <laughs> because uh, like literally the Halloween blankets that are left are just solid blankets in Halloween colors. Halloween candles out in full force. Spider cider, that's cute. Haunted marshmallow, I don't need that, but that's really cute. <laughs> also these ones that look like poison jars are cute. I like this packaging, it's a lot of fun. It's a pumpkin spice, I don't love the smell of it, but the packaging's really cute. Cute little entry rug with some ghosties. This little witch reminds me of something my grandma used to have. That is so cute. Again, I'm just such a sucker <laughs> for these little mice. Little witch and the, well, also a witch, but different. She's so cute. Stop, look at this tiny little vampire fellow. <laughs> in his little box, $12.99. I love him. That's kind of a cool, spooky boy. I'm really into these like, anthropomorphic pumpkins this year. <laughs> that's a that's a trend for me. I like this guy. He's like Frankenstein. That's fun. So that was home goods. Um honestly it didn't it didn't live up to my expectation for it. There were a few cool things, but I can't tell if I'm just getting jaded because I do this so hardcore every year or it feels to me like there's more stuff but the like quality and variety and just like interesting pieces are fewer and far between so you have to dig through more for the like good stuff maybe that's just my perception but but right now we're gonna go to this bath and body works which i have not been to yet and then we're gonna hit tj maxx i did not find the pumpkin i'm hoping to find at home goods 
I think it's less of a chance that I'll find him at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but fingers crossed, maybe maybe we'll come across him at, the, at TJ Maxx. So, okay, let's go. Here's our uh, headless horseman that I'm still irritated about. <laughs> Where's his horse? How did you put your name in the cup of fire? Spider pocket back. I wish this was gold. I actually would love to have this in my car because I have an owl one that's like <laughs> 15 years old probably. I think this is the first year I've ever walked away from Bath and Body Works empty-handed. And they have some cool stuff, it's just not for me. And I kind of knew from looking online that there wasn't really anything I felt like was for me. The only thing I saw that I didn't, that I wasn't aware of that I thought was kind of cool was that pedestal that had like the face shifting. I did really like the graphics and the packaging on the soaps and candles this year, I thought that was nice. I really wanted to like that little spider web air freshener for your car, but it literally just felt like it would snap if you like breathed on it wrong. So couldn't really justify <laughs> spending $10 on something that feels like it's made of the thinnest plastic that I have ever, ever come across in my days. This is not to shit on Bath and Body Works. I just, again, I feel like we're getting more quantity and less quality and that bums me out because I felt like last year we were kind of starting to like go right up to the edge of something really cool with the the hands and the busts that were like heavy and well made and I feel like they just kind of <laughs> rounded that corner and kept going the other way so anyway I'm not trying to yuck anybody's yum or be a cranky pants I'm just like a little bummed is all but let's head to TJ Maxx some cute Johanna Park Towels. I also like this moon phase. And this kind of like fortune tellery drying mats. Those are cool. This was another Ouija blanket I was kind of interested in, but honestly, now that I see it in person, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just not as like Ouija -y as I like. Like that's pretty much the extent of the Ouija stuff on it. And it's a lot of like just witchy kind of celestial it doesn't have a planchette, but I don't know if I need it. And it's not like a true black, it's kind of blue. They do have a lot of like sheet sets and larger throw blankets. Okay, wait, I really like that one. I think that's a better look at the other one we were looking at where it's a lot more like witchy than Ouija specifically. I think I really like that one. I wish it wasn't gray. This little ghost one is cute too. They have a lot more blankets here than they did at the other, at the home goods. Got this purple one with cats. Oh, we saw that one. It's kind of 
kind of cool like hand and crystal and moon phase one. Just this kind of more simple. Lots of kind of witchy palmistry themed blankets, which is fun. Here's some more like cutesy prints. This one says the season to be spooky. That's cute. This one has like crystal balls that say find your light, trust your intuition, magic is real. This pretty like floral skull. This one's kind of more purpley with crystals, leaves and stuff. I do really like this design, but I need another mug like I need a hole in the head, so I'm <laughs> probably gonna leave this behind. Oh, I love this packaging and I love that it's called Haunted. However, it's very heavy on the rose scent and I do not like rose smell at all, but this is beautiful. Okay, North Muse, I see you. I see your packaging. So cute. Oh, look at this! For Right Night Coco with bat latte art on top. Very cute packaging. I'll be the judge of that. Nope. Nope. Okay, wait, this is pretty cool. It's like a set of 36 thin metal spiders that you can do like a, like a decor going across a wall or something. For 35 bucks, that's like a dollar a spider. I feel like that's a sick deal. I really like those. I don't need them, but they're cool. Okay, listen. Besides some candles and more blankets, they had basically the same stuff that Home Goods had and way less of it. <laughs> they were so picked over. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, I'm hoping Marshall's is better. So let's head that way. Got two of the boys gold version and black with the orange pumpkin that's new. I also kind of like these jack-o'-lantern jars, especially for $3.99 in their glass. They have like an airtight lid. It's cool. Some blankets we haven't seen yet. Again, lots of snake things this year. Very trendy. different pillows than what we've seen. Some very hip fellas. <laughs> That's a cool different blanket. I like that it has orange in it. And again, a lot of the same stuff as Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I don't see anything that I'm like needing to write home about. Those soup canisters are kind of cool, that spider web one. Got some spooky Tupperware little pumpkin girl but overall nothing I'm like crazy excited about okay so I wasn't super thrilled with Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but I am going to make one more stop of that nature, which is Ross. And I've been seeing online that a bunch of Rosses have a bunch of Johanna Parker stuff. So Hopefully we can find some Johanna Parker. That would make me really happy. Um, but maybe it'll be another. I just feel like everything's kind of really picked over. I think maybe like I kind of hit the week after everything really hit because I was out of town. So uh, I don't know. Here's hoping. Let's head into Ross. Score. We've got a Johanna Parker cookie jar ghost. I love this design, so I may have to pick him up. Also just got some stoneware mugs that have gold spiders. Those are kind of cute. More Joanna Parker. Hey bud. Not really sure what the purpose of these is, but I like the bugs. <laughs> and a little spider spoon rest. Got some coasters with a snake, a spider, a raven, and a skeleton. Some Ouija placemats. Oh, that's really cute too. Another little cookie jar. Oh, and it's teal on the inside. That's fun. Like a stoneware pitcher. 
with bats on it. $10. Big jack-o'-lantern like the ones at, at home. More snake stuff. That's cool. It's a glass bowl and a snake stand. $7.99. Also got what appears to be like coffin pillows. Oh, okay. It does have, I was like, it's just spider webs, but it says enter if you dare on the other side. It's giving Target. <laughs> Very cute though. Kind of some cool different blankets we haven't seen. We got this kind of like ornate spider web and then this really lacy bat look. That's cool. And only 10 bucks. Okay, so Ross, also a little bit of slim pickings. We did find some jo Johanna. I recently learned that her name is Johanna Parker, not Joanna Parker. I've been calling her Joanna for years, and I'm trying to train myself now to say Johanna, but it's hard. <laughs> we found some Johanna Parker, um, and I almost got that ghost cookie jar, but I decided against it because there's actually a, a mug from her collection this year that you can't find at, like, Ross or places. It's only through, like, traditions or her, you know, Carnival Cottage site. Um, but there's a red-headed witch that I want really bad, and I would rather spend the money on that if I'm going to get a piece of her collection this year. So I decided against the ghost, even though it's really cute. But speaking of Joanne, uh, Joanne is going to be our last stop today. I am at Joanne. I have not been here yet. Right before I left for Midsummer Scream, they had like all their boxes out. Like everything was still packed, but it was all in the aisles. So they should be pretty well stocked, I hope. There is a specific rug I am looking for, a spider web area rug. That is the one thing I know for sure I want from Joanne. So hopefully we find that today. And then we're gonna wrap up for today at least. So let's go check it out. Okay, well, immediately off the bat, they're playing ABBA, so we know it's gonna be a good day. There's some cute, oh, $25 each. It's a great price for these porch signs. I have one like this that says Home Sweet Haunted Home. I think that's cute though, with the little light so it lights up at night. I also wanna see the bats. It says trick or treat. That's not my favorite, but it's very, I love the design. It says double-sided. Oh, give thanks. No thanks. Whoa, big boy. Hey look, they also have a, I think this is a 10-foot skeleton, but the the beat's the same, you know? I've got a boneyard. <laughs> not this, like, king of the gnomes. I do like that silhouette back there of the witch with the cauldron. She's cool. Oh, skinny legend. Some big pumpkins, big ghosts, big skulls, big everything. And a rooster? Skeleton? Question mark? Got some fun neons. A skull, witch hat, ghost, and bat. I'm guessing this is yeah, just a ghost that's fallen down. Oh, and the moon. That's cute. Got some kind of magic-y, witchy pillows. So this is the like witch line. We've got some moon phases, little moon mirror. What I'm assuming is like a moon. Oh, it's a candle holder. I thought it was like a planter. So welcome coffin mirror. It's kind of hard to read. It's got like a smoke effect. Oh. Big haunted house. He's hefty. Lights up. $40. But of course, 40% off. It's kind of cool. Very spooky crow boy. Got some velvet skeletons. I kind of like these. I like the orange a lot. It's fun. I don't think I like him $60 worth. I mean, granted, I guess he's quote on sale, but... They have these like giant ones of these through traditions that are bajillions of dollars that I could never afford. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I kind of, I kind of want one, but I don't know if I need him. He's very cute though. Bat mirror. Hello. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Moth, like death's head moth. Like a bat lantern. Did you guys just hear my hip pop? <laughs> Oh my god, do you guys remember, like, two months ago I was talking about this sign and I said it was me and Taylor. <laughs> cool 
skull door knocker. My dad actually bought this this year. It's pretty cool. It's like pretty sturdy, I guess would be the word. Like it's, it's not lightweight, you know? That's also pretty cool. Skull turning into a moth. Also got this cool plaster skull hanger thing that goes on your wall. I know they have another one which appears to be no longer here. Oh, what a cute little gift box. I love that. Ooh, honestly, these are some of my favorite boxes they've ever done. How much is this? $12.99? What a great little storage box. I like that it doesn't say Happy Halloween or anything on it. Something wicked this way comes. See, I don't love when they have wording on them. Yeah. Happy Halloween! I'm a hater, but I just like, I just want a box with like a cool, like this is so cool. Why does it, why does it have to say Happy Halloween? Or like this one. I, this is so cool. Why is this not the print on top? It says the witching hour is near. I don't, shh. I just need the box, it's okay. Got a spiderweb cauldron. Some spiderweb plates. Listen, I don't see my web, but it says on their website that there are three left in stock. So I'm now on a mission to find this rug. And I will, I will ask an employee, I will do whatever I have to do, because it's out of stock like everywhere. Ooh, look at these little boxes. Oh, cute! We're gonna find the rug. It's the one thing I wanted. <laughs> it's on the planogram. Which means it should be right here, which means it's probably in one of these boxes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, no luck on the rug front. I did have an employee help me and they looked up the item number and it says like it's in stock, but there's no active units. So it's possible they just like haven't put it on the floor yet, but I may just go ahead and order it to make sure that I get it. Cause that was one thing I did really want this year. Okay, I am pretty beat. This has been a lot today running around. So I think I'm gonna call it here for today and then we'll pick it back up tomorrow and hit a few more places but right now i'm gonna go get some lunch i am hungry <laughs> i will see you tomorrow all right ghoulie ghouls it is day two and today i'm going outside my usual parameters to go to some different necks of the woods to uh i'm really trying to find this one pumpkin from home goods and i don't think i'm gonna find it <laughs> Not with that attitude, um, but I'm gonna try some different home goods out here in on the Kansas side. Um, I'm gonna try one home goods and then one that's like a home goods TJ Maxx combo. So we're gonna hit those. And I'm gonna see if we can find a Joanne out here that is stocked because I talked to lovely friend of the channel, Kim at Joanne, and she said, my Joanne, all the stuff is in the storeroom. They haven't stocked it. I didn't miss it. It's not out. They're understaffed and they haven't been able to stock the shelves. So maybe we can find one out here that is stocked right now. So uh, let's hit some home goods and see what else we might find if we find anything different, new. And maybe if we're really lucky, we'll find the one thing I'm looking for this year. <laughs> I'll see you inside. Got some really big items here. This is like a, like a Frankenstein lurch type character. He's huge. Got some really big like server type things with trays. They've got this down and then a big skeleton. <laughs> this is cute. I haven't seen him before. A little Frankenstein pumpkin bobblehead. $14.99. Tom Selleck skeleton. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Very, very vintage inspired. I'm such a sucker for these little mice. They are so cute. I feel like that's a really great price for this big of a pumpkin. <laughs> oh my god, look at her. She's so cute. Why am I so obsessed with these little mice? <laughs> we've got some pink Halloween, large happy Halloween cauldron, and then they've got a smaller size also. $9.99, it's metal. Got a very tall version of that standing headless horseman. 
cute little vintagey bobblehead girlies. <laughs> Hipster Frank has made a return. Was worried we wouldn't see him this year. Some cute kind of vintage style stuffed pumpkins. These little girls are cute too. Some snakes and a cloche. That's, I haven't seen that yet. It's different. Oh, I have this guy. He's one of my favorites. Except mine's a bobblehead. I think this is bigger than the one that I have. Oh, little Dracula bobblehead too with this little glass of blood and the bat. It's cute. Also like this. They've had him before with this dapper pumpkin gentleman. Wow, really cool set of snake kind of celestial serving platters. Love that. Also a really cute chip and dip. That's a spider web. It's just like melamine plastic, but cute. That's metal. That's cool. Here's some mugs I haven't seen yet. I may have to get this pink and black. That one. It's pretty cute. And I like the like campfire mug splatter kind of inside. It's really cute. I've got rhinestone pillows galore and this green ghosty boy some blankets i haven't seen it's kind of potiony spellbook one and just a, like a woven bat blanket oh, it's kind of a cool pillow book of spells and it has like pages <laughs> that was fine not quite but it's cool do I need a candy corn stress ball for my desk? <laughs> I kind of want it. Y'all, is it just me? Or are we seeing substantially less Ray Dunn this year? I haven't seen any. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I found a spider web mixing bowl with spider web cookie cutters and a spatula. I love it. This is really freaking cool. I have not seen this before. Y'all, it's heavy as hell. It's like, I thought it was fabric. It's like, it probably weighs 10, 15 pounds. $39.99. That is so, so pretty. Wow. I haven't seen these yet. These would be super fun for Halloween. Pink candy corn, $29.99. Super fun. Y'all, I put like a cinnamon pumpkin air freshener in my car to just like set the tone and the vibe. The vibe is correct. <laughs> okay, so Home Goods saw some new things, a lot of the same stuff we've seen. Did not find my pumpkin, really bummed, but that's okay. Our last stop today is gonna be Joanne, and then we're gonna be done for this decor hunt. So uh, let's head that way and hopefully find some very cool stuff. <laughs> I found the rug. I found it. I don't think they had this yet at the other Joanne. Got this pumpkin headed skeleton boy. Oh, that's very loud. I also hadn't seen this coffin shelf before. I don't like love the wire outside, but the very subtle spider and spider web print on the wood is really cool. I do really like that. They have this eye thing, which I kind of think is cool. And I've been eyeing it <laughs> for lack of a better term. I think that's pretty neat. I don't know. For my witch room? What do y'all think? Looks like some, some trapped souls. This is a cute towel. I've also got a cool, like, this mantle scarf and then a matching tablecloth and this, like, door hanging or window covering with the snakes. Those are really cool. I know this is, like, random, but I also found these little cardboard like paper witch hats that are I mean, pretty thick. They're small. I think I'm gonna grab one of these. I feel like this would be great for a craft of some sort. I don't know what, but I can't pass it up for 
eight bucks. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm really obsessed with this just like simple velvet. I love the like bright orange and I love his face. There's a, there's this one too. Kind of a like, set. But I really, I don't know why, I just love this like crazy orange velvet. It's very, something about it's very 60s to me. Or if you want to go all out 60s, they have a pumpkin with shag carpeting. <laughs> okay, well, I think other than not finding that pumpkin at Home Goods, I now with the rug have, I think, everything I was looking for this year. So that's exciting. I feel, I feel good. Hello. So I thought to wrap up today's video, we would take a look at what I have purchased so far on our decor hunting journey. I will say this looks like a ton of stuff. Uh, a lot of it is for the yard project. It's also everything I've purchased since June. So there is quite a bit to go through. Some of it you may have seen before in a previous video. I think most of it I have not shown, but let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna try to go by store. I think everything up front here is from Home Goods, so let's start there. So first off, I got this spiderweb black and gold kind of embroidered pillow. I really, really liked this. One of my main focuses this year, decor hunting, has been finding pieces to use for my living room redo later this year slash into early next year. Um, just using this time to find year-round decor pieces that I can use for that. And this is going to be a perfect piece for that, so I'm really excited. I also got this set of napkin rings from Isaac Mizrahi, but I think it's from Home Goods. Um, but they're gold, just simple spiderweb napkin rings. Um, but I have kind of a slight makeover happening in my dining room, nothing crazy, but I've been looking for more gold toned spiderweb stuff, and this is gonna go really nicely with that. I got this from Home Goods really early on um, because. It was something I saw out when I wasn't hunting like on film and I knew if I didn't get it then I wouldn't ever see it again and I'm glad I did because I haven't seen it since. <laughs> um, this is a Rachel Roy throw blanket with these beautiful black and white planchette designs with kind of a, a really pretty filigree and an eye motif. I really really like this. I like that it's Ouija without being like Sometimes Ouija stuff can be really campy, like which I love, but I wanted something a little more refined, a little more elegant, and I think this is really nice. And that's the only Halloween blanket I've purchased this year, so I'm doing I'm doing really well. <laughs> and the rest from Home Goods is in this cute little shopping bag that I got. I think this was, yeah, 99 cents. I love reusable bags. I use them for everything. Um, so I loved this one. I love how big it was. I have a lot of like smaller sized ones, but this is a, a great one to keep in my car for grocery shopping and stuff. But in here we've got a spiderweb mixing bowl. I've been looking for more spooky bakeware and dishware that I can use in videos and things throughout the year. I'm really excited about this. It came with um, some little doodads on top as well. It's got a spider and a spiderweb cookie cutter and a little spider spatula silicone spatula which is nice i always need those in the kitchen but i just thought this was such a cute little bowl you can't really see but there also is just like a little spider printed right on the inside of the lip of it there and i was really really excited this one was kind of buried and i was happy i noticed it before i left the baking section more dishware again looking for things i can use all the time not just decor so um, they have these two very cute little spiderweb loaf pans there's a close-up of the print really like these they have a burnt orange lip rather than the white um, and a little spider hanging down on the inside this gravestone sticker just says this item was decorated by hand resulting in subtle variations it's a sticker you can take it out um i got two of these i make a lot of pumpkin bread and pumpkin loaf in the fall so i thought it'd be really nice to have a couple extra loaf pans for that and they had the larger matching cake pan so i grabbed that as well this was 9.99 and i think these were seven or six yeah 7.99 
feel like that's a pretty good price for ceramic like this and for it to be so, you know, cute and well-made. <laughs> so very excited about those. Always good to have some extra spooky bakeware around the house. The last thing from Home Goods I actually did not purchase. My parents went to Home Goods and they got Roscoe a Beetlejuice dog toy. And I almost got this for him and I didn't because I was like, oh, he doesn't need another toy. But then of course his grandparents like to spoil him. So <laughs> I'm very glad they got it. It was really sweet. I was over at their house and they told me like, oh, we got Roscoe something. And I immediately, they had been to Home Goods and I immediately knew I was like, it's gonna be that Beetlejuice toy. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't get it for him and that he got a, uh, a special gift from grandma and grandpa is very sweet. Oh, I do have one last thing from Home Goods back here. I almost forgot about this. This was actually the first thing I purchased this Halloween season. I got it really early. It was something I had seen online and I knew I wanted. So the first time I saw it, I picked it up. Um, I was really surprised it was only $19. And it is this set of three gold cauldrons on kind of a I don't know what you a rack, a metal rack, um, but they're all metal and just really, really cute. I was so excited um, to see cauldrons in gold. That's something you don't come across very often. I've seen these in rose gold. I've seen them in black. I've seen them in silver. Everything except like a true brass gold. And this is kind of the, the accent color of choice in my home. So I was really excited to find these. And like I said, for $19.99, I do believe technically they are food safe and you could put like candy or, you know, dips or whatever in here. However, I'm going to be using them just as decor again year round. I was thinking I might um, plant or, well, probably not plant. I don't have a green thumb. Um, I'm not very good with plants. So I might get some fake plants. Um, some succulents or something and put them in these as kind of a little plant stand and then put it out on a shelf. I just thought that would be really cute and a nice little witchy moment. So there is that. And I think now officially that is everything from Home Goods. Oh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's sitting right here. Again, uh, this was something I knew I wanted from Home Goods this year, and it is this anthropomorphic pumpkin guy. I just really like these kind of things. Um, I thought this would look really cool in my witch dining room. I like to tell a story with my decor, as you all know, and so something um, that I was really hoping to get more of are these pumpkins because I like this story of a witch who's like cursed a bunch of people to live as pumpkins in her cottage because they wronged her in some way. <laughs> and I just thought this guy was really cool. And again, I mean, he was 29, which isn't inexpensive but he's heavy he's like a plaster material and he's big so I was really happy with that price and uh yeah I'm really excited because as y'all know I got these two littler fellas from at home earlier this year and so kind of building up a a little repertoire of <laughs> anthropomorphic pumpkins I don't know how well you can see these from this distance but um, these guys are really, really cute too. And again, these were from at home. They were $7.99 each. This was actually, it wasn't the cauldrons. These were my first purchases of 2023, but we've got these guys. Okay. <laughs> I promise this time that is actually everything from home goods. We're, we're done with home goods. I think while we're just talking about pumpkins, I will address the, the elephants in the room. I've got a bunch of these big craft pumpkins sitting around that you can kind of see at different levels. I have bought about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've bought seven different varying sizes, but all like fairly large of these foam craft pumpkins from Joanne and Michaels and different craft stores. Um, and we talked a little bit about this in one of the other videos about how um, I did a, I tested a technique over on Patreon to make these what's called corpsing, <laughs> rotting jack-o'-lanterns, um, props for my 
Sleepy Hollow yard display and I needed a specific kind of pumpkin and I finally found a bunch of them in enough different variations and sizes. So we will be, the next video you'll see on the channel will actually be um, us going through corpsing these pumpkins and carving them and making them look really gnarled and gross and exciting. I'm really, really excited to do that project. I think it's going to be maybe one of the coolest things that I've ever done. Um, really excited about that. So uh, if you see all these pumpkins lying around, <laughs> that's what that is about. Since we did these two little guys, let's talk at home. I haven't gotten a lot of that home this year, but I picked up a few small things. Uh, first, I got some sculptural candles that are uh, a coffin and a tombstone. I think they both say, yep, they both say RIP with a little um, skull and crossbones on them. I just, I've been really into these like figural candles <laughs> this year. I just think they're really neat. And uh, again, I'm just looking for cool kind of non-Halloween specific spooky stuff that's not like jack-o'-lanterns, you know. Taylor and I's plan, um, like I said, late this year, moving into next year, is to redo our living space. And part of that is gonna include making floating built-in shelf units on either side of our fireplace. And once I have those, uh, we'll be, I'll be really, you know, dressing those up and making them very curio cabinety, just lots of fun stuff to look at. And of course I would like a lot of that stuff to be spooky. And so I wanted some cool little candles and things to stick in different places. And I thought these were really neat and for six bucks a pop. And they do have a little bit of a, a fragrance. It says unscented, but they have a little bit of like a, a musk to them that smells nice. So I'm excited about those. And then the only other thing from at home is kind of, kind of weird and a little out of, um, out of the norm for me, but I did end up getting the, this like cut off head that they had. <laughs> Hear me out because, uh, again, we're doing Sleepy Hollow in the yard and the whole like premise of Sleepy Hollow is that the horseman cuts off people's heads. And I thought this, I don't know, he almost has a little bit of a, a Baltus Van Tassel vibe in his eyes. So I just thought this would be um, a fun prop to have. This is something I, I don't think I'd be able to successfully recreate on my own and having this like lying next to one of the graves or something I think would be uh, a really cool effective way to show that story. So yeah, this was from at home and he was $15. Because you can see him so clearly, I'm gonna take a pause in talking about uh, big box store stuff and talk about a few things that I've either bought from small makers or that I have found on Facebook Marketplace over the last couple of months. First of which being this skeleton pillow you see over here. Now, obviously skeleton pillows have been very popular the last couple of years. Uh, I think kind of starting with the John Darian one that he did for Target. Uh, is that, gosh, has that been two years ago already? Uh, but there's like a big one from, I think, Marshalls this year that people have been seeking out that's more like Sherpa. Even Spirit has one this year. But for me personally, none of those are really my, my style. They're like the Sherpa ones are a lot more minimalistic, kind of farmhouse aesthetic, or like the, the Spirit one's a lot more, you know, goth, like dark. So I came across this little fella on Facebook Marketplace and I thought he was so stinking cute. He's definitely uh, vintage, not super duper vintage. I'd say probably late 80s, early 90s. And from what I can tell by his construction, he kind of looks like, you remember when you could buy those those craft kits at like Joanne or Michael's and it was like, make your own like Halloween sweatshirt, but all the like scraps were already all the pieces were already cut out and printed or things like this. It'd be like, make a jack-o'-lantern pillow, but it was already a printed piece cut out and you would just sew it and fill it. I think he's something to that effect. Um, he's put together with like cording. I don't know. He's really cool though. And I loved the art. Like it, he has this very distinct art style that is, you know, more vintage reminiscent. Honestly, some details of his face kind of were giving me scary stories to tell in the dark a little bit, which I loved. He's probably about uh, three and a half, four feet tall, and he's fully printed front and back, which I think is so cool. Um, fully posable because he's got 
his joints, like I said, like kind of corded together. He's in great condition. I'm also just now realizing it looks like certain parts of him have been painted with glow in the dark paint is what I think I'm seeing. So I think he might glow in the dark also, which is really cool. Anyway, I got this on Marketplace from the nicest woman. She lived in the cutest little witchy looking cottage. I drove over into this part of KC I don't go to very frequently and was just in awe. She was in this like powder blue little cottage house with a white fence and it was just so cute and surreal and her and I had to reschedule several times for me to pick him up and so when I finally was able to go I got to the door and she was like dancing with him in the doorway and she said he's been waiting for you <laughs> it was just so cute it was such a positive experience and she was really excited that he was going to someone who loves Halloween so much so welcome to the family little fella I, I really love him I put out a call on Instagram for names for him um one of my favorites that was recommended was Boney Shaloub, <laughs> which of course is a play on Tony Shaloub, and I've been on my 13 Ghosts bullshit again lately, so I really liked that. However, I had kind of decided on that, and then someone else, what did they say? Oh, crap, I don't remember. Somebody else recommended another name that I also really liked, and I was like, ah, oh, I might have to change it. <laughs> Hold on, now I've got to find it. It's going to bother me that I can't remember what it was. It was a really good like reference to a movie. Mayhew, <laughs> that's what it was. It was Mayhew, which is from Corpse Bride. He's the driver that um, ends up on the other side. And I thought that was funny because Mayhew <laughs> dies in the movie. <laughs> that's dark. Um, but I also, I really, I do like the name Mayhew a lot. So that might be, I don't know. Sound off in the comments, Boney Shaloub or Mayhew. <laughs> Both excellent name selections. Okay, back up you go, friend. Okay, so now let's talk about a couple small business things. First of all, I've talked about it on the channel before a thousand times, but I did get my spooky little Halloween magazine in the mail this week, and I had to drop a plug for it again because, y'all, if you love Halloween nostalgia. If you, like me, grew up in like the 80s and 90s and you have fond memories of looking through like Martha Stewart catalogs or things at Halloween time, you have to grab this. It's only $10 and Miranda does all of this herself. She is a one woman show and makes this gorgeous magazine. Let's take a look at like one of the pages just for fun. So like here's an example of what's inside. It's like my favorite Halloween things and there's all kinds of ads for great small businesses in here. There's a 31 days of Halloween countdown giving you activities to do every day in October and there's a cool little ad for a great podcast in here as well. <laughs> this is just one of my absolute favorite Halloween traditions is getting this is the third year in a row that I've gotten Miranda's magazine. I love it so much. So I will leave a link in the description box below. Be sure to order your copy soon because she has sold out in the past, if I recall correctly. The other small business thing I want to talk about is this incredible piece of art. Y'all, I get a lot of cool things to my P.O. box. You all send me such sweet letters and cards and crafts and things from your businesses. I, I love, love, love and appreciate everything that is sent to me. This is possibly the coolest thing that has ever come to me. I was shocked when I opened the box. So this is from Leather and Jade Crafts and it is a vintage style pumpkin pale light. There is a lamp in here. It's double sided. How freaking cool is this? I lost my mind when I opened this. So the mouth and eyes have this kind of crepey paper in there. This is also like a crepe paper at the bottom, but this is like a hard paper mache. Um, just very, very cool in the style of the 30s and 40s jack-o'-lantern paper mache pails. And like I said, there is a, a bulb in there. It plugs in, it lights up. Super cool when it's lit up. Uh, so she sent me this and that was so generous and thoughtful because I'm certain that that took an insane amount of work to make. And I was such a fan that I immediately went to her site and ordered 
something else. So I got this little Halloween like rattle noisemaker that is a little, another little jack-o'-lantern faced guy. I just love her faces. They're very, you know, folk art, which is definitely the, the vibe that I, I am drawn towards. So yeah, and it's got like little caution tape around the side and a little rattle. It is just so stinking cute. These items are going to be so treasured for me because I love folk art and vintage Halloween, but it's, it's hard to come by in the wild. And so when people do really good reproduction that is beautiful and well-made, I am so appreciative. So thank you so much, Leather and Jade, for sending this to me and for uh, allowing me to purchase this ahead of your drop as well. I just... I really love these pieces. I'm so, so thankful. Oh, all right, ready to get back into the, the store goods. Let's see. Um, let's do Spirit next because I've only gotten a couple things from Spirit. As you saw in my Spirit walkthrough video, I grabbed that fogging skull pile for, again, the Sleepy Hollow display. Um, but since then, I've gotten two little things from there uh, just for my own enjoyment. <laughs> As a surprise to absolutely nobody, I did go back for this little Sam blow mold. I just think he's so freaking cute. He's very small. One of my favorite details is that he does have his little like butt flap <laughs> in the back of his onesie. And I think he was like 21 and then I used a 20% off coupon for him. But if you don't already know this about me, I'm just, a, I'm a sucker for blow molds and then obviously anything trick-or-treat as well so this was kind of a, a perfect storm for me I, I had to have him and they had several the first time I went and when I went back this was the last one so I was like okay I, I gotta grab him and he'll look really cute with all my my mantle kerfuffle in October <laughs> the other thing I grabbed again this was the last one left when I went back so I, I'm glad I I almost thought they were out of it and it was behind a bunch of other ones um, but I did end up getting the Adams Family little like 60s TV mug. Is that focusing? I don't feel like it is. I love that it's in grayscale. Uh, I probably won't drink out of this. I feel like it'd be very hard to drink out of, but I thought it'd be really cute to make like a little floral display and stick it in there, like a little gray and black, also in grayscale, maybe with a little, um, Taylor has 3D printed me some little thing hands before. And so I thought maybe I could like, add one of those into there and have like some roses with the, the heads cut off kind of thing. Um, just make a little, a little homage to one of my favorite TV programs of all time. The back does have some font on it too that says most unusual, most unusual. But it just made me really happy to see something with the original Adams Family on it. I mean, not Charles Adams, Adams Family, but the original television Adams Family. Now that like Wednesday has come out and the Adams Family animated shows and the Adams Family movies from the 90s, like, which I love actually, almost all the interpretations of the Adams Family I've seen, I've enjoyed, but these are the, the OGs that made us fall in love with them. And so I was really, really excited to see a, an homage to them in such a retro fashion. Oh, oh, good golly. What do we have left? I've got a couple Marshalls bags here that I'm actually not even sure <laughs> what's in them. Oh, right. Okay. These were kind of an impulse purchase, but I'm, I really like them and I felt like they were stupid cheap for what they are. So I did end up getting these glass jack-o'-lantern jars. I don't know if you can see the face on there. Um, they have like a, an airtight lid, almost like a candle jar, really. You could probably, if you were a candle maker in this size, you could probably pour some cute little fall candles. I mean, it'd be a big candle, but hey, who's who's complaining? Um, but these were $5.99 and $3.99, which I thought was a steal for like solid glass jars of this size. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but <laughs> I thought these were really cute and I love the way they look together. And I feel like you could put, you know, tea lights or real candles or something inside or candy or anything and just really add something to your space. So I really like these. I mean, you could even use these in your kitchen as your like flour and sugar containers or 
I don't know, you could do a lot with them and they're freaking cute and affordable. So <laughs> those were from Marshalls. We've got a few things from way back at the beginning when we first started hunting from old time pottery. Uh, I've got these green fr freaky fabric, <laughs> creepy cloths. I got these for the witch dining room, but I actually think I might end up using them for a craft project that we're gonna start here in the next week or so. We'll see, keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> And then if you recall, I also got two of these bat candle pedestals um, for $9.99. I thought these were, I thought these were pretty cool. I like the sculpt on them and I'm always looking for things to help me create levels in my decor. And I love the way the bats like wrapped around that. I think it's really, really cute. Next up is Miss Joanne, which I have only bought um, one thing from Joanne, but I thought I was safe. I had marked myself safe from Joanne Fabrics this year. And then I went back like two days ago to buy something for a craft to like make my friend a birthday gift and saw that they've put out an entire new line of pillows and things that I want most of. So that's... <laughs> That's slightly disappointing. I thought I was gonna be okay there, but anywho, I found my spiderweb rug, as you saw in that footage. So I was really happy that I found it. This was like the one thing from Joanne. I was like, I have to find that. Uh, it's just like a little entry hall rug. It is reversible. It's white and black on one side and black and white on the other. Got some little fringe. Um, it was $24.99 originally, but I think it was $14.99 with the 40% off. It's a two foot by three foot rug. So it's a good little size. I'm gonna just put it in my entry, like right in my front door. I've gotta get a, um, like a slip pad for it though, because it's very um, lightweight and my floors are wood. So there's no, you know, traction there. And because it's reversible, it doesn't have like rubber or anything on one side. So I am gonna have to get like some little grips for it, but I'm really happy that I found it. That was the one thing I was like, if I don't find it, I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> I did also buy like a little impulse purchase from Joanne. It was this little particle board type uh, witch hat. I thought this would be a really fun thing to use for a craft. Um, I don't know what that craft's gonna be, but I just love the shape of it. And like, yes, I could make my own witch hat base, but I liked that this is like thick and you know, it's gonna be hard to, you can't crush it really. <laughs> And I think with the discount, it ended up being like eight bucks or something. I don't know, I just thought it was really fun. You could decoupage it or honestly, I might even cover it in fabric or like make it into a little, I feel like you could make it into a really cute little like fascinator, you know? Just like a small, a small witch hat. So yeah, future, future craft for the channel. Or you can put it on a pumpkin and it looks really hilarious. <laughs> and just like sticking it on random things. And I think it's so funny. <laughs> I think our last stop is Michael's. So early on, I got a replacement glass coffin for the one I broke last year. This was one of my favorite pieces I bought last year and I was devastated when I smashed it. So really happy to have uh, a new one of these. This was $19.99 and again, I think it was 40% off. I've had a lot of people ask me what I use it for. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Um, it's a really great thing to hold. Like if you have a bunch of little remotes for um, lights and things, it's great to put those in on like a coffee table or a coffin table. You can make little terrariums out of them. You can use it to hold jewelry. You can put it on your vanity and use it to store lipsticks. I mean, there's all kinds of uses for one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it has a warning on here that says, glass is fragile, always carry at the base with both hands. I did not do that last year and I can attest that the glass is indeed fragile. <laughs> <laughs> then the thing I went to Michael's for this year, the Ichabod Crane tombstone. I am so happy that more people are doing sleepy hollow decor. <laughs> I wish more people would do it and I wish they would do it really, really well, um, but I will, I will gladly settle for this right now. This was $15 um, and it's just a little tabletop Ichabod crane. I think you can kind of see there, there is a horseman 
emblem on there as well. I do think it's a little funny that they put the horseman on Ichabod's tombstone. Like that kind of feels like an F you. Like, hey, remember how you died? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't like thrilled with the paint job or the quality of this, so I might jazz it up a little bit, make it a little bit better. Um, but I do really like the, you know, the base of it is very cool. And again, I'm just so excited to see something, something, <laughs> Sleepy Hollow. I feel like it's so weird. Like it's one of our few all American Halloween folklore pieces. Like that is, like pretty much everything about Halloween we have borrowed from other countries. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is an American tale and we don't take advantage of it. I just think it's weird. <laughs> so there's my, my formal petition. <laughs> this was a surprise Sleepy Hollow piece. I didn't know they had this year. I hadn't seen this online at all and I really like it. Uh, it's this little lumbar style pillow that has just a few of the the lines from the story on it and a little horseman down here in the corner. Again, very simple. It's maybe a little more simple than my style typically, but I do really like it. And I like that they took the time to put something from the actual story on here and something I hadn't seen yet. So I'm excited about that. And then the last thing I got from Michaels was just some Halloween foliage, some greenery. This is specifically from their Halloween line, even though it's just ferns, but I really like it. It's velvety and I love the, the color is really specific. I feel like it's that really, um, for lack of a better term, what I call like stinky green. <laughs> and I mean that in a positive way. It's like that kind of pukey uh, 70s green that I'm always on the lookout for. So I was excited about that. I feel like that, you know that like Kim K meme where she's like coming out of the bushes and she's like, <laughs> that's what I felt like just then. <laughs> Did we do it? Did we get it all? I think that is about everything. If it's not, then I'm sorry. I'll show you more at some point maybe, but that feels like plenty. <laughs> I really hope you all enjoyed this video. We will probably have one more decor hunting episode before we are done for the year. Uh, I know we still have to obviously see like Target when their stuff fully drops. Like I said, we've got Joanne uh, putting out stuff every day apparently. So I need to go back and check that out. But for the most part here, moving forward into October, we are gonna be doing decorating videos. We're gonna be doing a lot of crafting videos and getting ready for this Sleepy Hollow yard display. I cannot wait to show y'all what I have in store for this. I hope I'm not hyping it up too much and that I can deliver on this and make it as cool as it is in my head, but I really am excited about that. I'm gonna be making my Halloween costume this year, so uh, we'll probably do some of that on the channel. If not here, definitely on Patreon. So with all that being said, be sure you're subscribed to the channel if you are not already. We are dangerously close to hitting 45,000 and it would be really, really cool if we could hit it before my 30th birthday in a few weeks. Um, that would really make me jazzed. It's an ambitious goal, but I think we can do it. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of our Glamour Ghoul gang. And if you would like additional content from me, me behind the scenes sneak peeks, monthly live hangouts, you can check out my Patreon at the link in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye.